There are certain plays that will forever echo through the annals of competitive gaming. But you know this, because we put them in literally all of our videos. The Daigo Parry, the Edward Pistol Ace, the Roshan Bait, the Faker U Outplay. There is no shortage of era-defining dumpsterings out there. Bounces into the corner! And a chase that around, just in his there for the shot! And but it isn't just the competitors we need to thank for putting on these insane displays. It's the casters, the crowds, the pog champs in chat, and of course, the literal spectators of such awe-inspiring ownage, the observers. Hello, right, so he's got to try and do this oh, round oh. blindfolded, using only the hints that we give him. That's how he's going to observe this. This is a true test of his observing might. Observing is, undoubtedly, one of the most crucial and unforgiving jobs in esports. It's also one of the most thankless. The best observers are the ones who go totally unnoticed. Because when you do notice them, it's usually not a good thing. He's yeah. on Plateau right now with that AWP. Can we go to him, please? There's a fight on Plateau right now. b site Plateau. Oh, maybe the observer broke. Maybe, maybe something went wrong. So, inglorious as they are, great observers can be hard to come by. Yeah, how many Dota games have we done? Uh, I said we would uh, average 1,000 to 1,200 games a year. Yeah, something like each. that sounds reasonable. So, times seven. Yeah, quite, quite a few games yeah. at this point. Not only is my observing pretty good, but I work well with the production because you need to have communication with the director, the producer, uh, the replay operator, even the game admin sometimes. But what if I told you that one of Counter-Strike's most esteemed observers became famous for missing the game's craziest play? Smokes. See a double smokes in the same place there. Simple just jumping casually into the side. He's gonna fall down again. Oh! What is this club from? Simple, are you serious? What is that? You can't do that, Simple. That's not allowed. This is not FPL. This is a major. I just <laughs> wish we could see that one with two live from your POV. <laughs> Shout out to Prius one time. <laughs> Meet David Prius Kuntz, the CSGO slash Valorant observer who, in spite of being among the most experienced and respected observers in his scenes of choice, is known for one thing and one thing only. Getting memed into oblivion for missing Simple's infamous 1v2. I get everywhere, and it's like in like Valorant lobbies, for like pro games, for like everywhere, for you know, when I'm playing MMs, the Bolt Simulator is a Bolt Movie 2. I'm like, dude, I, I can't escape this. <laughs> so, how did music play a role in Prius's rise to prominence? How is it that he managed to execute a 1vx on a major stage despite being unable to observe one? And why is he getting ruthlessly made fun of for missing a play that he didn't actually miss? I'll be honest. It wasn't me observing, so yeah, the simple play was not me. <laughs> okay, so before we start memeing on Prius, I have to tell you about Opera GX. And by have to, I mean like they're, they're making me. Seriously, the sales team made me switch off of Chrome. The thing is, Opera GX kind of slaps. It has integrations for both Twitch and Discord, a built-in music player, pop-out videos, and just like a zillion tiny little time-saving features that give me more time to focus on what's important. I have recouped precious minutes thanks to Opera GX. Literally, I did the math. I save like four and a half minutes each day now that I don't have to swap windows to change tracks, check DMs, or engage in meaningful, thought-provoking discussions about the current state of esports in my favorite streamers' Twitch chats. Dimitri, oh, stop plugging your own goddamn so videos, you sick son of a bitch. We're talking 1,624 minutes and 30 seconds across an entire year, which translates to over 27 hours of extra time to get farmed by opping Novas and retakes or encourage my teammates to turn their monitors on in League of Legends' world-class ranked experience. So go download Opera GX and shout out to them for saving me time.
All right, now, despite being a true OG, like a lot of North America's finest Counter-Strike constituents, Prius came up on that silly, scrub-tastic sequel known as Source. I was unfortunately a Source player, a Source kid, I guess. I found Counter-Strike through my brother. I had my own surf server, 24-7 Skyworld, I, I believe. I started dabbling with servers, so I was like, oh, this is, this is cool, I can have my own community. And I moved past that phase, I was like, you know, 12, 13 years old, I was like, this is, this is, you know, not, not for me. From there, Prius joined a jailbreak community known as Hell's Gamers. Face the, face the, uh, uh, Prius, uh, no, 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 be quiet. I'm freaking hey, leaving you no, first, okay? No, 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 shut up. I'm no, leaving. you shut up. Shut up. Do not you know listen to him. him. I basically got into, like, 10 mans with community. It was interesting. We were all like very average. Some people like me were just a bit above average, I guess, at the game. And most of the, you know, people we were playing with were like, you know, just like jailbreak kids that were very bad. And so I started getting into the more competitive side of Counter-Strike Source. And then I found ESCA. Here's the thing though. Prius didn't just get into Counter-Strike because of his eventual affiliation with ESCA. It was also because of his feral, fierce, undying hatred for League of Legends. The community made me play, play League of Legends, and I just I just didn't like it. I, I think it was the worst game ever. I just despised it, but I, I had to learn it because it was like the most popular eSport. I started volunteering for this uh, organization called Leaguepedia, and they needed it, like a streamer for their best driven NA tournament. I have a screenshot. as like 90,000 viewers just watching my screen just with auto director in League of Legends. And then I was like, wow. That's awesome. Just seeing like seeing the chat, have it react to everything you do was fantastic. And I was like, oh, and it lit up like, you know, an idea. I was like, dude, this is this is awesome. I, I love this. Now, as fate would have it, Prius had just started working as an admin for ESL Pro League. I was lead admin for a Cologne qualifier. Throughout the event, I was getting yelled at by the director because, you know, the players weren't ready. Uh, the players started early. And I was like, this is this is too stressful for me. And so, like, it was like one of the late nights. Uh, the admin table was right next to the observing table, and Heather Sapphire was there at the time. I was like, Heather, you mind if I observe? You know, just one map. Just I just I just want to try it. You know, land, see if the casters notice at all, see if anything changes. And uh, she's like, sure. From there, things moved quickly. He started observing online matches for ESL, and despite doing it at night for admittedly meager amounts quickly caught the attention of the community. How, you might ask? Music. I started playing music in the pregame, and I started syncing it uh, to the movement of my camera. Just pregame, you know, that's it. And, you know, that got a bunch of Reddit threads daily. Prius started spectating more and more matches, and alongside his friend and mentor Sapphire, quickly established himself as one of CSGO's go-to observers. And at the ESL Cologne Major in 2016, Prius got his first shot at observing an international LAN. Now, as many of you are probably aware, this particular major is home to one famously irreproducible play. About midway through Team Liquid's quarterfinal bout against Fnatic, our lord and savior Simple found himself in a pretty hairy 1v2. What ensued has literally become the stuff of legend. See a double smokes in the same place there. Simple just jumping casually into the side. He's gonna fall down again. Oh, what is this touch from Simple? Are you serious? What is that? You can't do that, Simple. That's not allowed. This is not FPL. This is a major. Now, if you have somehow never witnessed the full majesty of this shellacking, you might actually be thinking to yourself, all right, well, that was super sick, but not super out of the ordinary, right? Like he opt two dudes. That's, that's what most of us thought. Until we saw it from Simple's POV. Simple, I, I don't know, man. If he just comes in with that, there's nothing. Oh, it was a no-scope! It was a no-scope! He didn't even... He had, he had one button on his mouse, Dan. He had one button. CSGO fans didn't know it until they saw the replay, but they had just been deprived of seeing one of the greatest plays in the history of their esport unfold live. Naturally, people went in on the observing which really sucked, 
considering that, on the whole, Prius and Sapphire's performance was widely heralded as world class. After Cologne, we were sitting on uh, the plane, me and Heather, going back to Atlanta for E League, and there was like five Reddit threads on the front page. Prius and Sapphire, worth the weight in gold, you know, all these Reddit threads that were just gassing us up. And, you know, it felt good to know that people understand what observing is and appreciate observing when it's good, when it's bad. And that was a cool feeling. Now, for a long time, the community just stuck to occasionally, offhandedly shaking their head at the tragedy that was the missed 1v2. But I think it's fair to say that they didn't put a ton of thought into it. Prius went on to enjoy an illustrious career, becoming an indispensable part of CSGO Observing's go-to dynamic duo and cementing himself as an adored member of the Counter-Strike community. There's Sapphire oh! continuing the strong form. Kenny S fits one of the final nails in the coffin. Now Prius, you called him out as a handy player. Can he get it? Has he done it? Oh! My God! Unbelievable scenes! Have you ever seen anything like him? Can someone be the most simultaneously interesting and boring person that you've ever met? <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. That's bad. actually not bad. Yeah. I, you know. Oh my god. Oh, that okay. you know that kid has like a crazy dad is just pushing way too hard. It wasn't until several years later that a certain someone decided to rear that tragedy's ugly head once more. And what's more, put a face to it. And that someone wasn't a competitor, wasn't a caster, wasn't even a content creator. It was a shit poster. Scratch that. The shit poster. I just remember Don Hasey just tweeting at me saying, I wonder what the observer is doing who missed this at 1v2. And then, you know, him and I have been, you know, go back and forth. I make fun of his, you know, his gold coins or silver coins. And then, you know, he, he fought back and started memeing about, yeah, I, I missed it. To say that the meme caught on like wildfire would actually be sort of an understatement. It went ballistic. In no time at all, Prius couldn't show his proverbial face anywhere on streams, servers, or social media without getting roasted, ratioed, and everything in between. When I respond to someone, they just want to sip on one of me too. Or like when I'm in Twitch chat, you know, someone will, will tweet at me, or someone will, you know, at Prius, you know, simple me too. Like, I get everywhere, and it's like in like Valorant lobbies, for like pro games, for like everywhere, for you know, when I'm playing MM, simple, someone will say simple me too. I'm like, dude, I, I can't escape this. <laughs> it even got to the point where the official CSGO Twitter account started publicly rinsing our boy on the timeline. I'm still under the impression that someone runs that account that is in the, within the community. It's like Don Hossi, you know, probably running the account or something like that. It's, or like he sends them tweets or he like, tells them, you know, re reply to this, you know, for the memes. But the CSGO Twitter account guy is, is hilarious and he knows the community pretty well. And it's, it's pretty awesome to get memed on by the official game's Twitter account. But the worst of it was when they mentioned Prius's name to the GOAT himself. ESL did an interview with Simple for Cologne 2022 and Yanko brought up that yeah, man, Prius Mistress 1v2 and Simple just freaking had a look of distraught and sadness. I just <laughs> wish we could see that 1v2 live from your POV. <laughs> Shout out to Prius one time. But man, now this guy believes it was me too. It's just like, come on, man. Wait, what is. What do you. What does he mean, believes? I'll be honest, uh, it wasn't me observing. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. What? So, yeah, the whole Prius missed the simple 1v2 meme isn't technically true. We were just sitting on, on the sidelines and PGL uh, were observing Cologne playoffs. We did group stages and PGL did playoffs. And so that's when the kill happened. To the side. He's going to fall down again. Oh! Why is this from? Awesome? Because I have video, or I was recording the casters. I want to see what, what the casters look like when casting and on big plays, and so I, I recorded them. It'd be weird if I had a video of the casters doing the job and me at the same time observing. I've never really told anyone that it wasn't me, uh, <laughs> but I, I try to keep that, I guess, at Prius, you know, simple me too. Like, I think the meme is, is more fun than people actually finding out that it wasn't me. The question, of course, 
is why? Like, if Prius didn't actually miss the play, then why take the fall for it? It's always for the laws. I don't I don't care if someone actually, you know, thinks I missed it. I'll provide proof that it wasn't me, if, if, if they need proof that it wasn't me. Uh, but it's, it's definitely more fun to play with it. I just don't like when people are serious about it. It's like, I was telling you about one where, like, he goes, yeah, well, expected from the guy that, you know, actually missed this movie too. And I then responded like, hey, but it wasn't me. The meme has even carried over to Valorant, where Prius is roasted regularly for just about anything. The Terra attack dogs thing is, is pretty funny. Sapphire shared like a tweet of like a graph of like when the observers are most appreciated. And it's because of, you know, Terra's attack dogs that are just brutal sometimes. And it's not even like us sometimes. Like sometimes our observer, our cinematic observer will, will switch off and capture something else. Um, but he didn't realize that there was another action going on on the main POV. And so it's just like, eh. but it's, it's not something you can control, unfortunately. Where am I? Where the f am I? Observer, move me, bro! Wait, what? How did we stay on the screen for so long? I think the observer is sleeping. Prius? Hold on, it might not be Prius. Who knows? I always assume it's Prius. But that's okay. Because aside from the fact that it's mostly in good fun, the memeing that Prius endures is in service of a greater cause. To get esports fans talking about observing. Sure, they might be poking fun at Prius, but as the old adage goes, any press is good press. It gives observers like a, a name. With CSGO directly like interacting with me on Twitter and like all the community figures directly interacting with me and the observers, it puts like a face to the name. It puts just like, oh, this guy, oh, he, he controls the camera. Oh, like, what, what, what's an observer? And so, you know, you, you each have to explain to them. And it's just, it's so interesting to, it, it puts the observing on the map. Prius might forever be falsely remembered as the guy who missed CSGO's sickest play. But it is a burden that he's willing to bear. Because when all is said and done, it's a net positive for him, the CSGO community, and the unsung art of observing as a whole. And that, that helps a lot with, you know, my job. It helps a lot with, you know, other people wanting to get involved in the job and you know like i joked about there's there's 12 observers you know that want to be cs you know observers i now get daily messages of about how to become an observer and keep in mind it wasn't all bad without the missing of the play we wouldn't have been gifted with bardolf and ddk's now iconic reaction to it it's simple I, I don't know man if he just comes in with that there's no the no 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 so even if he has to endure a never-ending barrage of memes for something that he's not actually guilty of, as far as Prius is concerned, in the end, it's worth it. Everyone at ESL knows it wasn't me, of course. Uh, and everyone at Blast knows it wasn't me. And so I think I think it's a fine meme to stomach. And I'm actually kind of glad it started. <laughs> I loved this sound up, bro. I don't know if you've heard in the interview, but it's actually fantastic. It's so funny. When he talks about League. <laughs> yeah. The community made me play League of Legends, and I just I just didn't I just didn't like it. I just thought it was the worst game ever. I despised it. Like he just literally goes in out of nowhere. Like I was dying. I was trying not to laugh because I had muted myself in the interview and I was trying not to fing laugh. It was really funny.